everyone welcome to sql problem solving series so into this video we'll be solving two of the most interesting problem on two the different functions which are present into the sql we'll be solving these two problems on the loot code platform you can see both of these problems are kind of easy medium level problems but they'll be able to clear a lot of different concepts on how to proceed before solving a particular problem so that you can formulate a particular logic and then you can write the code let us see what is the problem the very first problem it is saying so you can see we need to write a query to report all the duplicate emails we have a table here in one of the column i have the id which is the primary key column for the table and each row of this table contains an email the email will not contain upper case letters so for a email i have a id similarly for different emails i have different ids and my task is to find duplicate email ids from this particular table let us see how to do this we can do this particular problem using a lot of different concepts but the very simple one would be counting the number of times that particular email id is occurring into the email column and the if the number of times is greater than one it simply indicates that those emails are present more than one times and those are duplicate emails which are present into all those columns let us see how to do this so i would just provide here select and i would do your id now let's say email comma count of email so i would just count how many times a particular email is coming into the email column so let's say a at the rate b.com is coming two times you can see so for a at the rate b.com we'll be getting two similarly c at the rate d.com it is coming only one time so we'll be getting is equal to one so from person and to get the count we'll be using the group by function here so we'll be grouping by onto the basis of the email and one more condition which we need to provide here is but before that let us see what is the output which we are getting let us run the code now friends you can see i'm getting the email and the number of times the email is coming into the column similarly here you can see i'm getting the email and the number of times the email is coming into the column using the group by function we have did this but from all the outputs which we are getting we just want to get the outputs where the number of times is greater than one so into all these aggregates i can just filter out using this particular condition all such emails so i would provide here having count of email within each of these aggregates which have been created this should be greater than one and let us run the code again here you can see c at the rate d.com is removed because that is present just a single time and we have just this value here a at the rate b.com but because it is coming two times get the correct answer though this is the correct answer but we just need to change the formulation here so i would remove this and rename this as email let us run the code again we have got the correct answer so friends we have solved this particular easy level problem using the group by function and having function so solving this particular problem your concept now will be very much clear on how we'll be using the having function with the group by function to filter out the aggregates so let us move to the second problem which we have here and this is also quite interesting so you can see i just need to get the customers who never order any product into one of the customer table i have the id of the customer and the name of the customer into the second table you can see i have the order id and the customer id who has purchased that particular order so we need to write a sql query to report all the customers who have never ordered anything so the customers who never order anything so we just need to get the names of all the customers i believe yes the names you can see into the output the name is coming so into the input i have the id 
of the customers and the name of the customers similarly here i can see the id of the order and the customer id who have purchased all these orders so order id 1 was purchased by customer id 3 order id 2 was purchased by customer id 1 and we need to get the details of all those customers who never purchased any product so let us proceed with this particular problem so i would just write here select and first of all i need to join both of these tables here so onto what basis do i need to do a inner join so i would do onto the basis of the id column so you can see this column here into the customer table the id column id of the customer is same as the customer id into the orders table so i would just write here a dot id comma a dot name comma b dot id comma b dot and this is the same the customer id from customers a inner join orders b on a dot id is equal to b dot customer id let us execute the code to see the output which we are getting so for example one is the customer id for joe the customer name and he has purchased order number as two and this is same as the customer id only so we can do one thing we can just remove the column here to remove confusion and i'll again hit the run code button so we'll be getting the details of all those customers who purchase a certain product so you can see joe has ordered the product id or the order id is 2 for joe for the order id for sam is 1 so we are getting the details of all those customers who order a certain product but we just want the opposite of this let us see how to do this so i would just get the names of all these customers see i'm getting the name joe and sam i'll provide this into a sub query and if here again i'll do select name from customers table let's say where i'll give a filter condition name not in this particular result whichever i'll be getting so i'll just get all the names and i'll remove the names of all those customers who have purchased a product and i'll be removing all such names so in the result i'll be getting the name of all those customers who never purchased any product so i'll just again run the code see i'm getting henry and max and this is the correct answer so i just need to rename the column as the customers who have never purchased a certain product let us run the code again friends you can see we have got the correct answer so friends i hope you had found this video quite informational and useful and you were able to clear a lot of your concepts though this was a easy medium level problem but the logics which can be formulated here can be useful during the interviews so friends do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet in the next video thank you so much bye